plaintiff, Devon Ford, says after he broke up with the defendant, she came to his home to try and reconcile. But when she found another woman there, the defendant destroyed his property. Devon suing for the balance due on a breast augmentation and restitution. Defendant Michaela Lang says while dating Devon, he made a comment about her breast being small. So she agreed to get breast implants and Devon agreed to pay for half of the surgery. Michaela is countersuing for attorney fees, court fees, and anger management classes. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Um, I met Michaela Lang October 2016 at a local car wash. Um, first, let me be honest, I was not being honest within a relationship at the beginning of the relationship towards and also the end of the relationship. I was dating someone else while I was dating her. Um, we've dated, I want to say, from October 16th to around January 2017. We started to get a little bit more serious. Some of the things I really had an issue with was the arguing, the maintaining the cleanliness of the home, and also the smoke. She was nasty? <sighs> <laughs> I don't want to call it that, but well, then it was just either you're clean or you're nasty. And which one was she? I mean, I just had to help her out with maintaining. Some okay, well then you were nasty then. If you weren't <laughs> doing your fair, you were the nasty one. Go ahead. We started to get a little serious in January. I had one foot in, one foot out. Mm -hmm. um, some of the pet bees that I just stated. Mm -hmm. So I decided that I wanted to end the relationship. So the relationship is done. Um, Miss Lang, she popped over my house a few times trying to salvage the relationship. Um, she popped up, I want to say, 5 o'clock in the morning, coming from a party, trying to resolve some of our past issues to go forward. Didn't take place. Again, Miss um, Lang, she did popped up. Did you let me in? Absolutely. Did you, did you open the door? I, I okay. opened the door. Right. Yeah. Let me hear from you, ma'am. Give me some background. On what so, you background, um, as he stated, he was a liar. I was bamboozled by him <laughs> in the beginning. Um, about two months after we started talking or dating, I had uh, proposed to him in January that we probably should go our separate ways because he had different views than I had. Um, I was heading out of town. He came to my house right before I left, said he didn't want the future to come without him pursuing me as uh, in a relationship and being committed to this relationship. He said he was willing to drop everything he had and that he was 100% in. I told him how skeptical I was about it because I do have four sons. I hadn't been in a relationship since I had been divorced and that I take it very seriously when I have somebody in my life that I possibly could be bringing around my sons as a role model. He said he was ready and that he wanted to do that. Um, in the beginning of the relationship, he also has sta made statements as to how he was surprised as to why he was drawn to me since he doesn't date black women um, because they're That's loud, full of drama, and they're That's investigated. That's true at all, Your Honor. Okay. Did you remind him you were black? I did. I did. I did. <laughs> and Go that's ahead. false. He had made mention about breasts, that women that he normally dates have bigger breasts, i.e. his true. children's mother. I'm not even attracted to that. Um, that's all false. And so I went and did the consultations, um, and then we agreed that he would pay half and I would pay half. I didn't, I didn't agree to anything, Your Honor. So soon, um, soon after, uh, right before the surgery, his dog had to have um, surgery because she was giving birth. We delivered one pup. She had some complications, and she had to have an emergency C-section. His reply to me was, hey, I'm going to have trouble helping you. Let me stop you there. How can you tell? I'm just curious. Are dogs delivered at home? I have no idea. Aren't yes. they, they delivered be. at home? They yes. can be. Like you get a whole litter? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we had to get a swimming pool. Yeah, how can you tell pregnant. when they need a C-section? That's what's thrown, that's well, why I, I so had to stop. Well, so we kind of just looked it up on online because there was some time before the next pat, pup had passed, and it said that if you can't pass a pup after so many hours, then you probably should take him to the vet. Wow. So she okay. passed the first one, Good. and mm. then um, he was at the vet. She's going to have an emergency C-section. Mm. It's going to cost X amount of dollars. That was going to have an how issue. How much? It, was, it ended up being $1,200. So I agreed. I told him, well, he said he wasn't going to be able to help me with his half. I told him I would help him with Dolly's surgery if that would help him still be able to hold up his end of the bargain for the augmentation. He said, fine. I had the surgery. About two months later, he had a sudden onset of breakup-itis. 
and um, told me that he just needed to get himself together. He thought he wanted to be in a relationship. Now he doesn't. He just woke up one day and feels like he doesn't want to be in a relationship. Oh. And, sir, you give me your side of the financial uh, uh, obligation. Correct. Um, I don't know what she's talking about in regards to me agreeing to pay half because that's never a conversation between herself and myself. Um, Let's start with how the conversation began about her having uh, augmentation. Well, Your Honor, just to kind of throw it off, this is my girlfriend right now, and she doesn't have a boob job, and I'm not into boobs. That's why you're trying to get this money. No. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. And that's not... And, Your Honor, that's not my attraction. Just having fun. <laughs> and that's not my attraction. Very pretty lady, by Thank the way. You. And I also have evidence when she indicated that she stated that she would pay her portion, uh, actually all of her Let's amounts. Let's go back, though. How did the conversation come up? Give me she, some... Mm -hmm. Um, Your Honor, she just presented to me. Says she said, "Hey, um, how do you feel about getting, me, getting a breast augmentation?" I said, "Hey, is that, if that's something you want to do, I support you in doing it." But she was going to get a loan from a friend of our, of hers, some type of guy, some type of loan shark or something. Is that, that true? She, no, sir. Go ahead. She said the guy was. She was going to receive the money from the guy, and he was going to pay interest. And I said, "Hey, since I'm your boyfriend, I can assist you, long as you agree to pay me back." She agreed. She sent me multiple payments, and I have evidence Let's here. See how many payments? She sent me two payments. Of how much? One was for 273, and another one was 270. Ma'am, she says you paid and I for did some make, of it. I did make payments towards Dolly's surgery because it was on the same account. He on says the the, it's for the dog, she says. Incorrect, sir. And how does she owe you for restitution? Um, for coming in my house and vandalizing my house. She mm -hmm. she actually came in. She destroyed. Well, she put water on my laptop. You she saw me put water on your laptop. She destroyed my um, sunglasses. Where, where I have pictures where of were those. You when this stuff happened? As well, as well. I was contacting the police, and so also you were outside. She, and also she took my you car keys. Outside. And I'm not sure what she did with my car keys. And I actually have an invoice on the car keys that she. Where were your glasses at when she? They were broke inside them? the house. So when she came in, she came in irate, angry, cursing. You were lying. She, about she what? Was, what was she so upset about that day? Because I had another girl in the home. Okay, And she it. said, since you're going to do you, I'm going to do me. Okay. And, and that you was called her. the police, and what happened? The police came out, and she pretty much took off with my items. Was well, she my convicted? Keys. The, um, the cops asked me if I wanted to convict her, and I said no, simply because she was a mother of four. Mm -hmm. I didn't want anything like that to take place. But once I seen my stuff was destroyed... And I also have a restraining order against her, too, as See well. that, please. It's kind of hard, destroyed to see, but it's a restraining order mm -hmm. against her. <clears throat> and so once my items was destroyed, then since domestic violence took place, it was taken up by the state, not by myself. Gotcha. And they ordered restitution? They ordered her to pay restitution? Absolutely. Okay, how much? It was for $616, and she agreed in court that okay. we went on the 12th that she was going to pay as well. Ma'am, let me hear from you on this. So the day that he is uh, stating that I did these things, I did go to his house. I did not break anything. When I initially entered the home, the girl that he had in the bed jumped up wanting to know who I was. I wanted to know who she was um, because, of course, it was a surprise to both of us. She said she had been with him for two years. I said I was with him for nine months. She said she, you know, didn't meet his kids. Had I met his kids? Did I have pictures? I turned to Devon and asked him to please tell me that the girl was lying. He chose to go outside, and he went outside. Where he went at that time, I didn't know. Her and I continued That's a smart move. Run. Let them work. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. I'm running. <laughs> Go ahead. So her and I continued um, talking. Um, she asked to see my phone. I gave her my phone while she looked at some pictures. While she was doing that, I grabbed a, a, a plastic grocery bag and I began to collect my items that were in the house. My clothes, some slippers, uh, a vase, a flower vase that I did take the flowers out of and I threw on the ground. Um, I then packed it in a plastic bag and took my phone and went outside and I saw the police. At that time, I had on a bathing suit tube top and some shorts because I was coming from a water park initially when I stopped there. I let the officer look in the bag, asked me if there was anything else that I wanted. I told him I wanted a watch that I had bought for Devon. He accompanied Devon into the house to go get the, um, the watch. And when he came out, he gave it to me and told me I could leave. About an hour later, Devon called me and said, hey, my watch is missing. 
my laptop has water on it and so on and so forth. I told him I didn't damage his laptop, that he should probably ask the other young lady that was there. You ordered to pay restitution. What do you say to that? Um, well, at the time, I already had went through all the stress of the court case. I really just wanted it to be over with. Although the sunglasses was not even on his list of items that were vandalized from the initial case, I said, if this will be over, I'll pay for the $600. i will pay the $600. And the judge then said... you haven't. I'm sorry? You haven't paid. It was just ordered less than two weeks ago. Your counterclaim for $3,733. Attorney fees, court fees, ma anger management, how does he owe you? Well, I feel like him making the false claims of not even knowing... He wasn't in the house for when, when he was saying that I did all... damaged all of these things. I didn't do them. I think he should have questioned the other person that was also in the house, but he didn't even give me the opportunity for that. He said, oh, well, she I said no. You had all the opportunity you, were, you needed. You were not. You, you had were all the opportunity you face. needed you when were you not were in, in court. You walked Absolutely. right out of the house when After, me and her were talking. What are you talking about? You threw flowers at my face. How, how did threw you throw them around? I threw flowers at your face. But you're taking an anger management classes. I threw flowers at your face. Right. you taking I, anger I, man I completed anger management as a result of the case. The, the case was... You were ordered to do that? Well, yes. Uh, you were ordered for anger management, so he doesn't know your dime on that. Uh, the attorney fees, you were successfully prosecuted, so he doesn't know you any attorney fees. You were prosecuted rightfully so. So you did need an attorney and to pay for your own because you were found guilty. Um, addition, right. pardon? I was going to say, I pled no contest because the That's court means guilty. Excuse now, me. it can come off your record through a variety of ways, but when you receive a sentence, when they give you, say, go do this! They can't do that unless you're guilty. You can't tell an innocent man to go to anger management. You can't tell an innocent man to give some money to the other party. Well, at the time, Your Honor, I couldn't afford to go Judgment to trial. Judgment for the plaintiff. Um, I believe everything you've said, you've backed it up with documents. Okay. Believe little or nothing of what you've said, <laughs> ma'am. Judgment for the plaintiff, your claim dismissed. Have a good day. Thank you. You know, if men are supposed to be accountable, I really think that this gentleman needs to have his genitals checked. That's pretty much it. Um, Judge Masters did a great job, and I'm glad he resolved the situation, and I appreciate everything. Uh, I appreciate Judge Mathis for his uh, ruling. It was justice. Thank you.